tuned to Janet Zenith Cablevision. Thank you for watching. It's time for talk. Each evening at this time, Monday through Friday, Rosemary interviews local personalities and others who bring items of interest to this community. Time for Talk is a community betterment service designed to cooperate with our local community betterment program. Tonight, Rosemary takes us by means of portable camera out of our studios and maybe into your neighborhood. And now, it's time for talk. The Duncan County Library. Can you believe it is now housed in a building like this? I think I remember in the early 50s, it was in a little bitty white building on St. Francis. And then it moved into the old Chevrolet place. And then it moved into the Kroger place. And now, here we are. And let me tell you, this is a magnificent building. We have a library here in Kennett, second to none in the whole state of Missouri. In fact, I think it's better than the one in St. Louis. At least it's a whole lot newer than the one in St. Louis. You remember when it was housed just down the street, one block. We called it the old Kroger building, and we were so pleased when we could get in there and uh, the room they had there. But now, now, I want you to step inside and see. You remember when we looked at these uh, the plans for this building and what they could do when they were on the drawing board in Mr. Reynolds' office. And we looked at that, and then we came over in um, six months or a year and watched as the workmen were working here. And they were putting uh, things together, and he said, this petition will have to go, and we saw all of that. And now it's done. And we're gonna go inside they had a big open house that we were out of town for, but uh, Calvin Hope covered for us. And then it's all set. Got Christmas trees and everything up. Let's show you inside. You have to visit the library. Just inside the door of this library, there is a huge American flag, a real beauty hanging up. And since September the 11th, uh, a lot of flags have been flying in this country. You also notice the Christmas decorations, a beautiful tree standing uh, right there by the camera, and poinsettias everywhere. And of course, we're not here just to look at Christmas decorations, although they are very nice, but we want to look inside at this structure. The first thing that hits your eye is the magnificent mahogany shelves that are here. Uh, not your standard metal shelves that most libraries end up with, but I mean, these are beautiful. L listen, the second floor is, uh, is gorgeous. There is a, uh, a place to sit. There is a place, I suppose, you could sit out here and read. In fact, you could pre pretty well spend the day in here and uh, really be in marvelous surroundings. Um, and if you need an afternoon to read or to look up something, downstairs there are couches we'll show you, and upstairs it's very nice. Now upstairs are the offices, and I know that um, Mr. Reynolds' office is uh, in the corner there. We'll go in and we'll disturb him and get him to, to show us anything we need to see that's not apparent when we first walk in. Well, I'm sure that you'd be the first one to agree that we've come a long way, baby. And we are sitting here in a very nice office with the director of the library, Mr. Reynolds. And of course, we've talked with him several times. We had the drawing board scenes and then the... Uh, did you have visions that it would be this nice? Well, I, I knew it would be nice, but perhaps not as nice as it is. As it is. It, it's really really turned out well. Well, uh, are, there, are there any hitches that have gone on that have really given you grief in this construction period? No, no, not so far, not so far. Okay, so everything went as you had it on the drawing as board? We had, as we had it planned, everything's going well, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, now, um, you have been in this, what, some some two weeks? In this building? Uh, yeah, we opened a week ago Saturday, so, right, but uh, we've been planning this for over two years, so. 
Okay, now, you had plans for maybe uh, uh, people in the community to help. Now, we were gone. Did this work out? Well, it didn't, and uh, the reason why it didn't is we, we decided that it would be much easier if we did it ourselves a little bit at a time rather than try to get all the books over here and have them piled up and really be a, a jungle. You mean that each one of you carried stacks of books, just walked across here? Exactly. That's, that's exactly what happened. The staff, with the help of, uh, of Dr. Uh, Mike Milam and a couple of other people, uh, carried all the books across the street, yes. Okay, but now surely you had some trucks and things to transport. We had the, the library van and some uh, two-wheel push carts. And you did it all. That would have been now. That would have been the sight to see. I'm sorry we were out of town when all of this uh, uh, transpired. Uh, the the shelves, the shelving downstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's beautiful. They are beautiful. I think th th those were constructed by uh, Robert uh, Ardent from Popper Bluff. Okay, so so. I don't think even many of the large cities have shelving that looks this good in that uh, dark, in the mahogany color or dark maple. I don't think we'll find any library between Memphis and St. Louis that looks as nice. I don't think St. Louis looks as nice. I know about that. Could you sort of give us a, an overall of, what, of what's downstairs? Could you just tell us, we've walked it when you were in construction, but what about now? You want to go down and look at it, or you want me to just tell you about it? Well, I want to. I want to look at it. Okay, now. sure. Okay. Oh. <coughs> How many offices are in use up here? Well, we have one for each of our staff. Uh, we have one for a bookkeeper and the assistant director, for our, our clerk, Miss Wright, and then for Norma, or another clerk, Norma. Uh, Monroe. Okay. And they're all beautiful offices. Now, is everything in use, or do you have uh, space to, uh, what, uh, are those in things offices? Well, uh, those two we're uh, keeping for private meetings. If someone needs to come in for a private meeting with just two or three people, then those would be available. I remember that mm -hmm. you said the, this was on the drawing and, and, board and that would, you were going to have. They would be really nice for, uh, for instance, I had a recruiter ask me if he had a room that he could talk to some of the kids, uh, and, and I said, of course, you know, we have a room like that. Okay, how many will it seat? Well, as many as chairs we put in there. You know, we, we uh, don't, okay. really don't have it furnished. We have a desk in there. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So how do you get to be able to use this? Don't, just ask. Just get on the schedule. It's called the library, and ask if you would like to use it. Tell us you'd like for to use a, it. For and a conference, it. any sort of any uh, sort. Teaching, uh, teaching situation. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. all right, good to know. All right, can we go downstairs? Sure, absolutely. Sure. The steps are reception desk. This you is the circulation desk where you bring your books to check out, or it's where you bring your books when you want to return them. Okay. All you have to do is take them to Jewel Wayne, and she'll be happy to take care of them. She doesn't have a smile on her face today, though. She usually does. Yes, but she's, she's <laughs> mad at me today, I think. All right. All right. Now, I'm facing a room that that has been long awaited, right? It has been, and, and, and it has been readily accepted. It's our new genealogy room, and, and it's, it's really beautiful. Everyone that works with genealogy likes it a lot. Okay, and there were a lot of genealogy people, and uh, they had a lot of books, and were expecting a lot that, um, that now they have room for. We have, we have probably about two or three times as much room as they had before. All the equipment's together uh, before it was separated in the other building. So they have everything now, room for everything they have, everything every they facility have. they have. Mm -hmm. And do any of the ladies come in on a regular basis? Uh, they're all here on Tuesday, just about, and, and someone's here practically every day. Okay. And we, we have someone on standby in case someone needs some help. And, and let me just see who this gentleman is standing right here. My, that, my name's Lyle Randolph. And where are you from? I'm from Clarkton. And you are looking at Duncan County Historical Society. That's a great book. And what are you looking for? Actually, I'm re researching the uh, Tatum family from there in Clarkton. Okay, all right. And uh, are you an expert at this? Uh, um, just just beginning, so uh, just going through and seeing what I can find. Okay, good. So you see how this will be used by the entire county. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't think that when uh, you were here before you saw the mural? No, no. Uh, uh, there used to be murals upstairs. Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about? about this mural right here. Oh, no, no. I had not seen this. Now, now tell me about this. Well, this, is, this was painted by uh, an artist named uh, Bob Whitehead, who normally paints on sides of buildings and barns. But we thought that his type of art would be ideal for the library. And we asked him to paint 
a building or a character or s something that would represent not only the entire county, but each individual town. Okay, so did he decide he would do... No. Did you tell him to do Daniel Dunklin? Well, yes, we told him to do Daniel Dunklin and the county, but we called uh, individuals in each town and asked them what would they like to have represent their town on our mural. Okay, now, uh, this... Uh, this would just indicates the, uh, the Southeast Missouri cotton picking. Okay, uh, so did Campbell pick the train? Well, uh, Campbell wanted uh, something to indicate that they were a train town. Okay. And, and I called Pete James and asked him if we could duplicate his uh, painting. You know, he, it's something that he draws a lot, and, and this was his, uh, something that had been in a paper and on other publications. And he, uh, he read lettuce. And, and I know Hornersville, right. picked Buster yeah. Brown right. and my right. dog Tig. Mm -hmm. He lives in a shoe, right. I can tell. Right. Okay, the that, build that, that's a Beckwith school in, in Malden. In Malden, uh -huh. okay, I didn't it, recognize it. The whole building that since, since burned and been tor torn down. Okay. There's a house, okay, go ahead, which one? Uh, the duck, duck's coming Hornet in. Swamp. We thought that would be important to have. Okay, and the Richmond Theater Rich and, and is, is Cena. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and... The old courthouse in Kennett, uh, which uh, was destroyed, I believe, in 1928. You found him a picture that he could paint. Right, and the watermelon... Well, that, 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 of course, is important to the county as well. Okay. And we try to get an old building in there, too, if you might see there at the bottom. Our old library oh, yeah, building. there's the old library mm -hmm. building right there. Okay, Arbord Compress. Uh, now th that the Compress represents both Arbord and Cardwell. The, the, the individuals in those towns thought that the Compress was very important to both towns, so that, that represents their area. Okay, all right. Now, the, okay. the, the water represents Holcomb Island. They thought since Holcomb at one time was an island, it would be important uh, to indicate that it was while, while we were still a swamp here in this area. Now, the, the Browns Ferry, of course, is still... Uh, you know, when I was a kid, we used to drive to Brown's Ferry mm -hmm. to swim. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Hadn't thought of that in years. Turn the light on for you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He went with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs mm -hmm. here in Pinocchio and, uh, of King. course, Lion King. Uh, Cinderella. Yes. Okay. He did a great and then, job. Then there's Tinkerbell and Bambi up here. All around. Okay. And uh, the kids can come in here and sure. sit down and pick out their books and and uh, even have a table with bites out of it so they well, can pull up to it. Flower. This is good. That's right. Uh, soon, at the, at the, uh, soon after the first year, we'll put a computer in here so they can come in and, and uh, play ABC games, things like educational games. Okay. We'll so, that so that's in the works. It is. That'll mm -hmm. be great. That'll be great. We're real proud of the adult reading room. We think this is very comfortable. Well, I should say. Now, <laughs> now, now, were the furnishings here? No, uh, the, 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 these were purchased by Le, uh, uh, Leslie Bruni. Well, bless their hearts. Mm -hmm. There are people who have just pitched in Absolutely. and... and we, uh, we've received several donations. And, uh, and not only just give you money, mm -hmm. but they have decided what they will buy with right. the money. And uh, I, now, you could come in here you could read the newspapers. In fact, I sat in here yesterday. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, trying to look for back news in the in the Democrat. Well, if you'll listen. No, I, I thought that's a phone. <laughs> that's but, a phone. I recognize but, but, that. But we, we have uh, piped in music throughout the library. Yes, there was. Mm -hmm. So come in here, listen to music, mm -hmm. to soft music, read a paper, get a book. Spend a day here. Sure, this is great. It. Well, we've been on a tour of the new Dunklin County Library, and it's magnificent. And you must come in. You need to come in before Christmas because it's really beautiful now with the poinsettias and all the decorations. Thanks to you, well, and well, I'm glad this is a dream realized. Well, thank you, and, and we're all excited about it. We, oh, we, we come in every day just saying, hey, it, it can't happen to us, but it has, and all we're right. happy. It's happened for the whole county. That's great.